All right, you guys ready? We're gonna go now, we're ready? Yeah, yeah, we're good. All right, action. I'm so excited for you guys. This is just my favorite place on the earth. I'm Courtney Tolliver Longfellow, manager at uh, Sweater Cows Milford. Uh, and I have got to say, we've got a hell of a good thing going on here. And the Lord said, let there be light. <laughs> All right, right this We're way. not like your other run-of-the-mill titty restaurants. In fact, we are the number two titty diner in the country. Before I forget, a couple of Sweater Cows t-shirts. Why don't you two throw these on? Yeah, no, throw them on. Put them on right now. And this here is the dining room. <laughs> this is where the magic happens. Any minute now, it is going to be a bustling frenzy of activity. Well, you know, once everybody else shows up, they're all late. And this here is the kitchen. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess there's not really much to it. Uh, it's all prepackaged and frozen anyway. But I will tell you something. Our wings are scrumptious. I mean, ooh, super scrumptious. Nothing like that bull junk at other particular spots that I don't even have to name. Hooters, I'm talking about. Oh, hey, Tabitha, that's the spirit I like to see. You're getting here only uh, 10 minutes late. Oh, fuck off. She's a lesbian. <laughs> and this here is my office. <laughs> this is where I sort of just, you know, hunker down and brainstorm and plan the day's attack. And do payroll and scheduling and eat my lunch. I don't have lunch with the rest of the crew, you know, because I feel it's important to uh, keep a distance between yourself and the people that you manage. Can't get too close to them, because any day now, you might have to ruin their life. My favorite part of the day is opening up these doors. It's like turn the page on a brand new chapter. It always fills me with hope. Oh, let me introduce you to the Sweater Cows team. That there is Wes and Val, our resident hotties. Hey, you two, you look sexy as hell today. Ow! Hey, Court. <laughs> oh, Wes, he's such a teacher's pet. So cute. You know, to be honest, I might think that he has a bit of a soft spot for Val, which if that's the case, I gotta quash that right away. Can't have people run off for quickies in the walk-in, believe me, it's happened. Oh, and that there's Pete. Extremely dedicated. Yeah, he always makes sure to test every single drink for quality control. Now, I don't know about you gentlemen, but that is what I call professionalism. He's not smoking, is he smoking something? Oh my God, he's smoking something. Uh, uh, hold on, okay, look, look, that's not what we're about here at Sweater Cows, all right, trust me. So I'm just gonna have to have a stern talking to with him about that. Hey, you Pete, uh, what are you doing with that cart? Can't get a DUI in a cart. Uh, I think what sets us apart from our contemporaries is that we've got heart. You know, real heart. Unlike those folks over at Hooters, because, well, they're just a bunch of soulless whores. Hey, Courtney. All I right, everybody, we've got a team meeting in five minutes in the conference room. Hey, you two, quit your flirt in five minutes in the conference room. Tabitha, team meeting five, excellent. And Pete, we've got, uh, why aren't you behind the bar? Because we do have that team conference room meeting if it's in five minutes. Oh, because we have that team conference room meeting in five minutes. All right, everybody, have a seat. I just want to lay it out there in the open and get it out of the way so you can all stop wondering and asking all sorts of questions. I'm gonna be a movie star. That's why I got these fellas following me around and documenting me and stuff. Uh, but don't worry about them. They are going to be very unobtrusive, like a, like a ladybug on a silk curtain. So uh, you can go ahead, though, and take a peek now. Uh, now, but not later. But go on, please, say hi. That's great. That's perfect. Wonderful attitude. So I know you're all feeling a little bit starstruck. Camera, future big-time celeb in the room. Believe me, I get it. But we are not here. So you all just carry on as you typically do and pretend that we are not here. You want us to ignore you? No, no, the crew, the crew. Ignore the fact that I'm a celebrity and ignore the crew. But you're not a celebrity. Yes, Wesley, I am and I will be. Why are they making a movie about you? What's it about? Well, it's just sort of about how things work here at Sweater Cows. Uh, you know, me, my philosophies and thoughts on life. Who's gonna give a shit about any of that? A lot of people, Tabitha, a buttload of people. 
Is this for HR or something, or is it a, like a commercial? Because if it's a commercial, I want in. Yeah, I want to be in the commercial. Well, I think we should all be in a commercial. I don't want to be in any fucking commercial. If this is a commercial, these guys better edit me. Oh, Jeepers Crow! If y'all would just let me speak, I could tell you that it is not a commercial. Then what is it? All right. I'll just lay it all out. Now. I'm only telling you all this because you are the closest thing that I've got to a family, and you deserve to know the real me. I'm... I am a woman. Now, I know that the carpet don't match the drapes, but I'm a woman. And pretty soon, my exterior is gonna match my interior because I am planning on undergoing a procedure to reassign my gender, and these fellas are following me around for a bit, documenting my trials and tribulations on this most glorious journey. Now, I have been wanting to tell you all this about myself for some time, so thank you. Feels darn good to finally have the chance to get it off my breasts, my chest, my chest. <laughs> I'm just a little, a little tongue tied this morning. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, no, not really. Good for you, man. Yeah, I'm cool with that. that. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, Pete. Uh, just to be clear, when you say reassign, you mean like you're gonna chop off your wiener? Um, well, I won't be doing it myself, and it is a little more complicated than that. Uh, it's more of a spiritual and physical transformation of my inner soul. But, uh, but yeah, in effect, eventually I will be chopping off my wiener. So thank you for your graphic inquiry, Pete. I think what you meant to ask was not when did I realize, but when did I know? All right? Difference. Uh, and that's simple. Right away. Yeah, I was maybe just a little tight, five or six. I used to poke my tiny little penis back inside itself like a turtle head, you know, and try to try to keep it up in there as long as I could. And yeah, that that was sort of a red flag right there. And I've come from a very long lineage, uh, you know, a, a, a very female-dominated familial hierarchy, and I do believe that may have had a profound impact on me. But I was always highly invested in feminine activities, you know, ballet, color guarding, cheerleading, poetry, art, how to waltz. I always wanted to be led. Yeah, I knew, I knew as early as grammar school that I wanted to be a, uh, a princess, is how I thought of it. Uh, and now I realize I just wanted to be a woman. It's who I am. It's uh, my dream. Uh, hey, Court, uh, I need to recook on this. Apparently, it tastes like shit. And Tabby seems like she's about to fight a customer. We need you on the floor. Oh, piss in a bottle. Are you yeah. fucking kidding me? Are you I'll fucking kidding Afternoon, me. gentlemen. <laughs> How is your dining experience today? Not good. Glad you asked. Well, I am sincerely sorry to hear that. What seems to be the problem? We thought the waitresses here were supposed to be hot with big titties. Yeah. Oh, eat shit. Tabitha, why don't you go ahead and see if Pete needs any help at the bar, OK? Tabitha, go! Tabitha. Gentlemen, I am sincerely sorry that you aren't enjoying yourselves, but Tabitha has lovely, juicy breasts, and she is one of our top uh, servers. Those are just fat boobs. There's a difference. Yeah. Yeah. Big difference. <laughs> <laughs> is that the hottest one you got? Uh, yeah, Ooh. I suppose she is. All right, we'll take her. Ah! Oh, hey. All right, all right, all right. Ah! Jonathan, hey, why don't you just hold your horses there, okay? Uh, Tabitha was up next in rotation. And something I need to uh, explain to you here about sweater cows is it's not just about the tits, all right? It's about the hearts that beat beneath the tits. Holy shit! What the hell is with the atmosphere in here? Feels like I'm at a goddamn wake or something. Good God, what the fuck are you supposed to be? Oh, what an effing day. Okay, have a seat, please. Oh, my goodness. Do you mind if we do this without the uh, Grateful Dead in here? Um, uh, no, he's shaking his head. They, they actually have an agreement with me. They, they're gonna have to stay, because we're making a movie. Okay, I don't give a fuck. Listen, would you listen up, please? 
What is going on with sales? I, I know that the last few months have been a, a little slow, but uh, it's still it's still not summer yet, and, and kids are still in school, and you know, Vinny's Tit Shack just opened up hey, across hey, the Hey, 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 don't mention Vinny's Tit Shack, okay? I don't want to hear about Vinny's Tit Shack. I know what they're doing at Vinny's okay, Tit Shack. Okay, okay, I, 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 I'm doing everything that I can, Dale, okay? I've got a great crew out there, and they're working hard. Not as hard as the night crew. Well, naturally, it is always a little bit busier at I've night. I've seen ladies on Glasscock's crew just as hot working the pole over the Golden Banana. But you day shifters, I mean, I walked in here today, I literally thought I was in a dog pound. Hold on now. We've got some lookers. Lookers? You've got a looker, singular, and we know who that is. Uh, yeah, Wesley. Wesley? No, Val. Who, who the fuck is Wesley? Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, he's the bus boy. Courtney. For the final time, okay, what I mean is this is called sweater cows. Sweater cows. See the insignia, okay? Gentlemen come in here, they're looking for some simple pleasures. It's not difficult. They'd like a little finger food, perhaps some banter with a nice looking woman. Maybe the occasional breast pops out and pops into their face. You're right, you're right. The, the, the day shift sales, they've been, quite frankly, horse shit. Horse shit! You're right, but hand to God. I think I got some ideas for how we can turn them around without doing anything I, I drastic. Don't fucking, I don't have time. Listen, get in here. I'm gonna whisper, okay? Are you hearing me? Hey, okay. You have to the end of the month, or I'm gonna have to cut the day shift. Cut the day shift? You keep your voice down and whisper. Sorry, cut the day shift? Yes, and if that doesn't work, I'm gonna have to close the entire location. Close the entire location? Do you understand the term, keep your voice down? Oh my God, Dale. What about all the employees? Don't worry your pretty little head. I'm gonna transfer all the nice looking ones to Beverly. But you, you, you can't shut down Sweater Cow's Milford. I can't shut down Sweater Cow's Mil Courtney, I own this shit box. You failed to remember that. But this that. place has so many great memories. Memories. Memories, yeah. This place literally haunts my dreams every... Jesus sorry, Christ. Sorry. Hey, uh, Courtney, what's next? Well, how the hell should I know? That's what I'm sitting here thinking on. And don't you dare say a single word about what you heard in there. Now, I know it is rife with drama, but you just keep your mouth shut, okay? Yeah, whatever, Courtney. Good. All right, gentlemen. Get on up your butts and get the heck out of my restaurant. Excuse me? Oh, you heard me, Billy Bob. Leave now. Are you kidding me? I kid you not, Cletus. I will not allow anyone to disrespect a single one of my employees, so you better get on up out of here before I blow my load. <laughs> Gonna blow your load on us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you bet your tobacco-stained teeth, Jethro Clampett. You better watch your tongue, pretty oh, boy. Oh, I am watching my tongue. You okay, Chris? Oh, yeah, Wesley, I'm absolute peachy. Thank you so much. Yeah, I sure am you. watching my tongue. I am watching it wag you and you and you and your ugly little behinds right out of my fine establishment. They'll just take all this to go. All right. I, I, I don't usually waste my time pounding a fruitcake. It hasn't happened since high school. But I suppose it's about that time again. Oh, with me! Because you better get me good, you hillbilly B-I-T-C-H, because I will pop right back up and whip your shameful sorry hide into your mama's overstretched cooter and then fall in up in there myself to twist your backwards ass round straight! Sweater Cows is a family-friendly establishment that celebrates the divinity of the female spirit! And I will not allow you, or you, or you, to profane its hallowed grounds on my watch! So what the fuck is it gonna be, huh, big guy? <laughs> this fruitcake is nutty. You bet your sweet ass. Mm. Let's go. Okay. Brush your teeth. Keep the change. You all a bunch of old ass skanks anyway. I'll just come back tonight when the real women show up. Oh, 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 yeah? We are the realest women on Earth. So why don't you come on back when you're a real man? Go fuck yourself, boy George. You are not worth the skin on my knuckles.
Courtney, you okay? I am absolutely peachy. Thank you so much, Wesley. All right, everybody, the show's over. Let's have a great rest of the shift, okay? Go team. Yeah, Court, we need you in the kitchen. There's nobody. Thank cooking. you, Wesley. I will be right on that. Yeah. I've been fighting battles all of my life. You know, with small-minded people, teachers, my parents, with myself. And I'm really good at fighting battles. So I'm gonna fight for this place. Because you have to embody the change that you wanna see in the world. Do you know, I truly believe that. Because if you don't, then nobody else will. Yeah, because that crazy fuck is now in the White House and the whole world's about to explode. Thank you. You're my friend. You're my friend too, man. I don't think I'm really cut out for this place. I've been feeling that a lot lately. Tabitha, of course you are. <laughs> no, hey, don't you laugh it off. Look at me. Don't you let anyone else define you but you. And don't you dare listen to those sad, angry little people, okay? Because you're cut out for whatever it is you want. So are you. I think it's cool you're going to be a woman. I am a woman. Correction. <laughs> <laughs> no offense or anything. But yeah, no, no, it is pretty cool because, uh, well, now maybe you'll let me take you out on a date. Oh, I'm uh, gonna get out of here before those plastic cunts from the night shift show up. All right, you said a mouthful there, sister. Have a good night, boss man. You too there, girlfriend. Go buy yourself something nice with all that money you got stuffed in your bra. You're about to find out. Parking in the handicap spot. Good afternoon, long fella. How's your shift? Glasscock. Very busy, but a joy. Thank you for inquiring. I expect we're gonna be slammed tonight. Nobody misses Friday night at the rodeo. Was this some art video or some shit? Uh, they're shooting a documentary. Well, unless there's some school project or something, you don't need a permit. Actually, Byron, it's about me. These fellas are making a movie about me. <laughs> you're making a movie about you? It's <laughs> terrible. Y'all have fun with that. I'll look for it in the dollar bin of the wall. Oh, it's going to be on HBO. Oh, sure it is. Hey, y'all don't make sure it about me. I'm the all-American badass. They already did, Byron. It's called Swamp People. And they already made that show about you, too. It's called I Am Tate. I believe it was cancer. Did you hear the news from Dale? What news would that be? Oh, you know what news? Must have you shaking in your boots. You're the one wearing boots, Byron. Better than dance shoes. I am steady as a rock. Hasn't rattled me at all. How are you feeling? Like a million bucks. Won't see no whirling lines on my brow. Oh, my neither. This here is smooth as butter. Having Botox don't count. I don't have Botox. Sure you don't. Yes, sir. Sword of Charles Milford is going the way of the buffalo. When she does, I'll be the one standing over, ready to pick the carcass clean. You know, if this baby goes down, you and I are both going down with it, so I would not be so smug, glass cock. Well, I, I wouldn't be so sure about that, long fella. You see, Dale's gonna need one of us to help with the transition, which means only one of us will survive the winter, and something tells me that I'm a bit more equipped. Dale didn't say anything about any of that. Well, of course he didn't. He still needs you to keep on sucking before this thing goes belly up, and we both know 
with the riffraff your day shift is sporting? I'm gonna tell you about one plan, so I'm the obvious choice to keep on trucking. You don't know that. Sure I don't. Stay on your toes, long fella. And remember, there can be only one. That's gross. You're gross. Well, my drills will be here any minute now. Time to make the bacon. Adios. I'm gonna have to take this bitch down. I'm sorry, Glasscock, I was just fucking around with you. It's, it's fine, I was just kicking the tire, checking the pressure. All right, put the gun down. Glasscock, put the gun down. Tabitha! Tabitha! I feel like a baby bird with its boom pole up here. It's like, Gonna give me something good? Come on, mama, give me something good. <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm just being silly. Uh.